Is the income from a job halal if a person obtains a qualification through academic misconduct but is not caught? Okay, so here you'd have a scenario where someone's been cheating or someone paid another person to do a, a particular set of essays or even one essay or just some other means where they haven't followed the protocol and gotten a qualification. This in and of itself is deception. And... Uh, it leads to a couple of scenarios One Where uh, I mean like for someone training to be a doctor to Someone training to be a pharmacist You clearly need to know the material Right You cre clearly need to know this drug works in this way And if it was to be taken alongside This other thing There may be adverse effects on the person uh, Taking the, you know, these drugs together You have to know that And that's why there are pharmacists and, you know, it's not just someone walking into a shop, oh, that one looks nice, uh, I'm buying it. So it's, it's a qualification, you know, therefore there's a qualification for a reason, there's a governing body there for a reason. So if someone's got a job after having cheated uh, in the training process or in the qualification process and they don't know certain things or um, it's not been done up to the standards that uh, the education educational institute that they're studying that would deem acceptable, then uh, it's going to be haram. It's simply going to be haram. You know, you've heard of pilots <laughs> doing things like this. Can, can you imagine? Can you imagine, you know, this sort of, you know, and, you know, putting other people's lives in your hands when, you know, someone's not fully qualified. Um, so that's one aspect where clearly a person doesn't have all the requisite knowledge. Uh, that would be impermissible. Uh, and the income is definitely haram there. Um, and then on the other side where, let's say, you know, they do know the material but they have cheated or these sorts of things, I think it would be obligatory, you would have to go and tell your employer. And if the employer is okay with you, like you, you lay out and say, this is what I did, this is what I should have done, but it happened like this. Um, and the employer is happy with your working knowledge of the field and, you know, because when they employ you, there's clearly there's an interview process and they screen you and they look at what your qualifications, or how well do you know yeah, the material, how well can you do the job, will you be suited to it? And if you've lied saying, I've got this qualification and they, they hired you assuming that you have that, then there's some deception there as well. So there is also, you know, um, uh, you have to go and tell them. You have to go and tell them that, uh, you know, I, I, I passed through these means and uh, I didn't tell you then. I'm, I'm very sorry, but I'm telling you now. And just accept the consequences. If they say, well, you know what, we don't think you're fit for this role anymore. And, you know, even if you know the material, even if you know it all, if they say you're not fit, then obviously that's their prerogative because they hired you under an assumption that wasn't true. And uh, But if after that the person says, okay, you know your job, keep doing it, um, then it would be okay and Allah knows best. But uh, this is also, this second scenario would also mean that you're not contravening, contra uh, contravening any laws and any... Um, uh, standards issued by a, a governing body so yeah i skipped six months of my medical degree you know when they were talking about you know uh, these particular you know issues and how to deal with them and yeah but i i, I you know i watched a youtube video on it i know how to do it <laughs> clearly that's not going to be sufficient even if the employer says it is right so um it's more than just cheating, isn't it? It has wider con uh, you know, consequences and, and implications. And you don't want to turn up on the Day of Judgment. No matter what trouble you think you're going to get into here in the dunya, being in trouble on the Day of Judgment where you have to stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and answer for why you did that, that's going to be a much more difficult scenario. And uh, billah, Allah protect us. Allah protect us. So... Honesty really is, you know, something significant. Someone who, someone who's not honest, and someone—I mean, honesty is like uh, either lying or it's also omission. You know, that can be so an aspect of being dishonest. So, honesty is the opposite of lying, and it's, it's also the opposite of omission uh, of irrelevant details at times, isn't it? Um, so, um, yes, it would be best to. Uh, speak to your employer in the second scenario. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad.
Muhammad Rasulullah